Oh. Good morning. Yeah, as we are along the water, it is a gorgeous morning. And uh, yeah, the geology here is amazing. It talks, it speaks clearly and eloquently of the Silurian period some 400 million years ago. And uh, incidentally, refutes a lot of young Earth fantasy quite handily. The, uh, the ancient rocks here contain traces of life that is extinct, and nobody can find these animals in the real world anymore. They no longer exist, except as fossils. Fossils. These ancient life forms have been extinct for so long that the only examples we have are now fossils. And you can find them in the rocks right here on this beach. You find these ancient rocks and they're full of fossils. Eh, fossils. And there are fossils everywhere. And these fossils are themselves a refutation not only of the young earth ideology but also of creationism. Unfortunately, of course, religious fundamentalists don't care about facts and reality, they care about ideology. And so for them, these fossils are to be ignored and denied. But it's really hard to deny them when you can quite literally pick them up off the ground. I'm torn. Yeah, they're, they're all over this beach. All these rocks that are full of small fossils. Silurian fossils that speak uh, of evolution that took place hundreds of millions of years ago when Earth was a very different place, when the climate was different, when this whole continent was half a world further south and was rotated about 90 degrees clockwise to its current alignment, when our north would have faced due east. Absolutely, this is, this is a reality that we have, and we know this from paleomagnetism. It's not that the North Pole swept up through the Atlantic, it's that the, uh, the continent itself rotated over a period of, yeah, about 300 million years to its current alignment. And we have all this evidence as well. Fossil paleomagnetism, fossil animals, fossil shorelines, that are on dry land, fossil dry land that's in the water. Um, in this area, this was once all sea floor. And we have the patterns left over from this ancient sea floor, and we also have the salt deposits left by a much earlier sea that once existed and dried up and filled in and dried up and filled in and dried up and filled in and dried up in a cyclic fashion. And this is part of the historical baggage that this beach helps to preserve. This ancient, ancient heritage of geology that you can't really ignore it if you live right here among it. The only way you can ignore it is to live somewhere where it isn't and to strategically avoid looking at it, strategically avoid examining it, strategically pretend that it doesn't exist. And this is what creationists do. They strategically pretend. And this is the great tragedy of creationist ideology, especially young earth creationism, is that it's based on ignoring the evidence in the hopes that the evidence will go away and allow your ideology to stand up for itself. But of course, the evidence is there, the ideology falls on its ass, and so creationists, especially young earthers, 
are forced to make excuses for why their ideology has failed yet again. And usually this takes the form of personal attacks and insults and mockery and ridicule. Excuses, of course, lots of excuses. But sometimes they just ignore everything. Sometimes they just pretend you didn't say anything. Sometimes they pretend that you didn't put the evidence right there in front of them. They just look away and pretend it's not there. And this, too, is part of how young earth creationism works. It's a dishonest and disingenuous ideological position with regards to reality. And it's a position that has no foundation anywhere. And people need to stop buying into this crap, okay? The evidence is here, again. The rocks. The rocks. Okay? Crack open the rocks and you will find the fossils. And the fossils exist. Something to think about, don't you think? Let's see if we can get the young earthers to actually think about it. Let's try. It is gorgeous out here.